Alright, hello everybody, this is Demon coming back for another round of Final Fantasy XIV. So, uh, end of the last, last episode, not wondering if I was going to play this today. I do have some free time, I am going to be playing. As many of you can sit there and see, also, I have made money. I am now rich. I am a happy camper. Um, yeah, I've been playing a little bit off screen, doing a lot of, like the duty stuff. Um... Some, some went better than others. This one was... I, didn't, I couldn't do this because it was going to take 25 minutes to find it, so nobody's really doing it. This one was relatively easy. This one was, again, relatively easy. Um, all but one. Um, one. One I got into, like, groups of players are just, like, screaming at each other. I... I it, it was a bad time. Trials one I don't think took that long either. The trials one was actually pretty easy. Um, didn't do the main scenario, but, uh, everything's been going pretty well. Um, got some money back. Now I am a happy camper. I completely forgot that that was a possibility of being able to do. Um, yeah, but as I was saying, like, I, I've been trying to do this all off screen, but it's been a bit of a bitch. And, and as I said, this one really wasn't that bad. The leveling one. Um, the only problem I ran into is I played two of the vault ones. Um... I think we did the one wall, Balasar's wall, whatever one that one was. It was uh, the beginning, of, it was like towards the end of, um, with uh, Ilbert and everything. And then I actually got into Bottom's Metal again. Except this time people were screaming at each other. It wasn't a lot of fun. All because somebody wanted to reset the stupid trial section, which I don't understand what the hell that's about. But um, I'll give you guys a jump cut when we come back. We're going to start doing the Gilmlet Dark. And hopefully, hopefully. I can finish off Stormblood today. I know it says 20 minutes, but I'm, you know, I'm going to say my prayers and hope to God I don't have to wait 20 minutes. So, um, see you guys at the end of the jump cut. Alright, guys. So, luckily, we found a group. It, take, it took almost 20 minutes, but I think if, we, if we're good... I think if we're good... I have just enough time to finish Stormblood out. I think. I could be wrong, but I think I do. I got a picture for the game. <laughs> I think. Try to say hello. Always say hello. Um. Forward! Forward! Oh, yeah. oh, that's our healer. Jesus Christ. These guys ran off really fast. That's the only thing I'll say I don't like with this is some people run off ahead really fast and they end up getting themselves. Oh, no, 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 no. no. God, Jesus. Oh yeah, but I was having fun earlier. Up until the point when I discovered somebody was, you know, start screaming in chat. That's when I was doing this. It, it was really bad. Like, I was having so much fun. I was like, oh, this is actually really easy. This is kind of cool. And then all of a sudden, just... It's all you hear in chat. Like, you guys messed everything up, I don't want to play no more. It's just like, it's a trial. You're the first group of people I've ever seen that, like, screams in chat that they're not going to finish it because they got chained up. It's like, who cares? Like, honest to God, who cares? Like, just play the game out. Like, it, and it's and that's always been my other problem with the game. I hate when people make the assumption that I have any idea what the hell they're talking about. Like, they're just like, oh, you guys already played this before. You know everything. It's like, <laughs> no, I, I know how to beat the, I know how to beat the damn dungeon slash trial. I mean, besides that, I don't know nothing. And I think if I remember right, like, you guys will see our bard of metal. Like, nobody was yelling at each other. They were really kind to each other. It was just like, oh, yeah, it's, it's fine. You're good. Nothing besides that. It's like, for, I always find, like, these random groups of people that are always like this sometimes. It really, like, ruins the mood for me. And the only reason I'm doing the leveling one is because it's like 11,000 kill, and in my brain I'm just like, okay, so if I have stuff selling on market, I do about 10 of these a day. I can make a lot of money.
get off the keyboard. Yeah, because I remember, like, I did it a few times where I messed up. Like, I've probably done that mission, let's see, the first time, second time. So that's probably the third or fourth time I've been barred with metal. No issues. I mean, I've seen people mess up. I've seen people not mess up. It's really strange. Oh, no. I actually just stand right here, I'm in the clear. The goal is you keep running around because um oh, god damn it too bad. Ooh. The main goal was to keep running around in circles with him because he'll keep trying to hit you with that ability. I think that's really all he has. He doesn't have too many other attacks. He has a couple AoE attacks. That's about it. Not too much. Oh, I think I can alert. Oh, they can look out man. Jesus Christ. I'm just gonna run around on this side with the best. Run away, run away. I don't do too bad at all. Damage reducer, heal increase. Good. Although I will say this much, I've been trying to find cheaper ways to get, or trying to find inexpensive ways to sell stuff on the um, market board. And I'm hoping I started finding ways to do it. Um, it's okay. I mean, at this point in time, like, whatever I say doesn't matter because it's like nothing's gonna. I, I started noticing, like, people still spend money on market board stuff, even if it's something really cheap that they can buy off of something else. Like, like, Ishgardian Restoration is going on, right? Um, so, I was doing it, and now I quit doing it, because I've come to the realization and conclusion that whatever I do in there doesn't matter, because I'm never going to get enough CP, I'm not going to get enough money, I don't think I'm lucky enough, so what I want to get, I don't think I'll ever get. So I, I, I've, I've come to the conclusion that I have a better chance just doing the leveling stuff and just playing the duty missions, and hoping every time I beat them I get enough money. So if I do about 10 duty things a day, say tomorrow I'm off. Um, I don't know if I'll have time to record, it's the only problem. I'm making the assumption I won't. So if I play it all day, if I play this game all day long doing exactly that, I might be able to get the um I might be able to do the 10, 15, and then sell stuff on the market board at the same time, making like a little bit of pocket change, not a lot of pocket change. And seeing where it goes. I need like I'm gonna see how much a gill I can accumulate because I'm assuming I'm gonna need a lot. I shan't hold back.
but I, I, I don't know, man. I'm just trying to find whatever way. And I've been thinking about maybe going back into um, the die dam, maybe doing some run around and do some mining, but it's just like, when I look at that, I'm just like, overall, it doesn't have pertainable value, because you know, I can spend, let's say, you get 180 minutes inside that place to do, like, get a Guardian equipment and stuff. Now, let's say I spend the better part of an hour and a half for it, right? Well, actually, no, it's 180 minutes. Yeah, about, yeah, about an hour and a half. No, about three hours in there getting stuff. You grab all this cool equipment, you level up your character, you can tie A. But in the end, you're not going to get much overall in value because in the end, you're going in grabbing some stuff, but not nearly enough. Some of the stuff you might grab, everybody has access to, so you're not going to get too much overall value for it. You're still going to sell it, but if you sell it for dirt cheap on the... Um, sell for dirt cheap on the market board, you're going to destroy the economy because what you're doing is you're making something cheaper while everybody else is paying more money and trying to sell for higher. So it's like you're selling it fast, but you're also going to lose some of the money. Okay, this part I remember. There it is. I'd run over to the side if I were you. I'd be good. Hey, doesn't he just come out somewhere? Oh, there he is. So it, it's it's been pretty crazy trying to find easy ways to like engage into the economy. Because originally what I was doing was I would go out and mine and get iron ore. But I came to the conclusion that it's cheaper to just pay a whole bunch of money and get like 99 stacks for like 18 gil a piece. And then selling it on the market for like, let's say like 50 gil. It's like, people buy the shit still, it's so stupid. It's like, why do, why do people, I don't know why people do that. I guess, I guess it's just because financially, I guess in some sort of way it makes sense. It's like, because depending where you're at, if you're lazy and you don't want to travel and do stuff, then I guess it, it works out in the end. Oh, did it say freezing mist? I think we just stand in the center here, right? Yeah, we just stand here in the center. And then run to the side, run to the side. But, I don't know. I, I just, I'm just trying to find whatever way is cheapest for me to make money. Right now it seems like, um... It definitely seems like getting the, um... Leveling missions done makes the most sense. You get 11,000. You gotta do a lot of them to make enough money, and then you're basically, the only thing you're really paying for are repairs for your equipment, so it's like, overall, I guess you're it's sort of worth it. Because you can't really sell any loot online. That's, that's the only thing I don't really like with the Duty Finder missions. I wish that was something they did, which is, if you grab loot from these, you can sell it on the market, but I guess it come down to randomness. You underestimate me! And how much people are willing to spend for it. It's, it's a really complex thing to try to figure out. So it's basically supply and demand. You can flood the market full of cheap iron, people are going to buy it. But the problem is, is you can get iron anywhere and get it for dirt cheap. Same thing with like equipment. Like I bought one of the... I bought one of the earring things for like 17000 and I was like, if you just put this on the market for this set price, at some point, somebody's going to buy it, right? And if they look at it, they're going to go, oh, wow, this person made it really freaking cheap. And they're not going to think, if they're a new player, that they should go to, you know, one of the stores and just go buy it. Which means, if you pay $17,000, you sell it, I think I have one set of earrings for $22,000. It's like, add the tax payment into there that the game has overall, it's like, it sort of works out. I know, it's just really weird trying to work into this game's economy system. 
which every time you go online, you try to figure out like easy ways to make money. So Fantasy Paint like, has like a recommendation, something like it's really simplistic. It's like anybody can do it, but you can't really find one. And the only thing that always pops up is like these websites trying to sell guild, and it's just like, which. From what I understand, you can't even buy guild. It's not allowed in under Final Fantasy Terms of Service. You're not allowed to buy guild. You're just, it, it, what it does is it floods the economy. I mean, it makes the freaking guild worthless. So, in theory, Square Enix doesn't want people doing that because it'll break everything, which I don't honestly blame them at all. That's, it's a valid point. It's just like you're, you're putting stuff on market or you're buying stuff with your money, but there's no work being done. So, you know, Changing of hands of guild and such just ruins the economy now, which I didn't think about. So I, I, I'm trying not to do that as 100% as possible. But you always see people like every now and again, like when we're playing, you guys will see like the advertisements pop at the bottom left of the chat just sitting there saying, We're selling guild for dirt cheap, please buy our guild. And you're not just sitting there going, You're gonna get banned, bro. Which I think, whenever I looked online, people said they really weren't getting screamed at too much over it. It's just kind of like, they see the irregularities enough, I mean, they will ban people. So that, that, that made me very, uh, cautious. So I figured I'll, I, I'll work my ass off and try to get money the, old fa the actual way. Most of the money now, it's just like whoever gets the Kupo stamps and just sells stuff for like so much. They're the little guys. They're the guys making all the money right now. Like they're selling stuff for like weird prices, exorbitant prices, which somebody wants to buy it. That's that's my problem. That's what I would do. I hope our teammates wait because I, I went back for them. Give them that peloton ability. Oh, I have one. Oh, I got lucky. Okay, I gotta try to memorize this boss fight now. I don't remember everything. I'm trying to watch out for the other one because that's who I worry about. Say right about yeah. I got really lucky on the days. I thought I was done, man. I thought I was screwed, man. Oh, staying away from that person. That's a standard AOE attack, that one I'm on fire. That's real cool. Okay, that person got their ass kicked good. Yeah. 
Okay, there's this bitch next. Yeah, watch out for that attack. You gotta look for the little glowing sections on the ground. You can get an idea and find safe zones. It's actually not that bad. That one, that one's gonna go there. I might have got hit by that. Oh no, we're in the clear, but I got screwed. And that does work out. Yeah, you always want to be knowledgeable on that. It's actually not that hard. I think they're doing another team attack with that one ability. Saving my one attack for later. Okay, that's my choice. Alright, let's do it. Now, both of them should spawn in, they'll not have very much health. I got, oh, I got hit by that. God damn it. I was kind of screwed with the AoE sec where we were at in the AoE. I was trying to stay away from the teammates and I ended up getting hit. Oh wait. Damn. I see in the AoEs I didn't want to get anybody. Recommendations. I will get the healer because they help me out. I actually want the little I want the little wind up thing. Alright. Okay. Oh, I don't think I'll get the wind up thingy. I actually wanted that. Now I have crippling depression. There you are! And none the worse for wear. Nope. Indeed. I had hoped we might do more to help, but there seems to be no one left to fight. A tactical withdrawal, perhaps? We should give chase. Finish them off while we have the chance. Imagine the other surprise when they wake to find the war already won. Oh uh, no, like not this crap again. Like sponge all life. Only you can forestall the calamity. Throw wide the gates. No, 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 not like. Try it, try it. How's these down? Oh no, don't tell me. Are you all right? I'm fine. Massive headache. Quickly, we must get her back to the encampment.
Ah, damn it. Now we lost Alize. Alize has been cared for in infirmary. With that, with that, there were more we could do for her. I know. So Garlings have been routed, have they? Well done. Though this change was no more than a test of our strength, not like as not, we won't be taking any chances now that the Emperor has joined the fray, but want to take their time, whittle it down our defenses. Still, with your help and that of our Eastern ally, we passed the first test. Our line is unbroken. As for Alize, well, she's in good hands over at the infirmary. My lord, the Jerrigans have completed their examination of Mr. Alize and his feared. She is locked in slumber without any outward cause. Damn it. Just like the others. Damn it all. I already said that. Aye, the Garlians picked a fine time to come knocking. Five scions can capacitate an enemy at our, on our doorstep. I cannot spare the men to assist in the search for a cure. The best I can do is to see that Alize is escorted safely back to the Rising Stones. Gary and I would return to our encampment. The main contingent of our forces from the Far East is under sail, and all must be made ready for their arrival. Well, I will not keep you then. Judging by the Garlings' recent movements, or the lack thereof, they won't be launching another offensive in the immediate future. Let's return to the Riot Stones, get the plight of your fellow signs, and uh, I can understand if you feel on edge, but you'll just no good anyone without rest. Go on now, rest. You've done more than earned it. We'll contact you the moment the Garlings show up any stirring. Jesus, man. Did pretty good in that uh, till the end. Um, as I said, there was not much I really could do. I was looking at the, I was looking at the bottom of my screen. And I'm trying to figure. I was like, okay, I see where the attack's going, but where my allies went, unless I ran forward, which again I was gonna do guesswork where that damn attack was gonna go. I was kind of screwed. Because AOE wise, like we were all going to bundle up together, and if we bundled up together, we were all gonna get screwed by it. And I was like, well, if I get screwed, my teammates are at least fine. And they'll probably do better than me. <laughs> uh, I didn't welcome home. Word has it you, Mr. Alize, gave the Garlings quite a thrashing. Speaking of, where is Mr. Alize? Certainly she would have returned by now. Uh, Hori, we lost another person. By the twelve, not her too. Oka and I will ready the infirmary for her arrival. You also need to send a message to Haru post haste. <laughs> Would that I had something other than grim tidings to share with her. And with you too, for that matter. Please meet report the Archon's condition remains unchanged. As we speak, Coltnet, Kryo, and Master Matoya continue to explore every possible avenue. Our last their efforts have yet to bear fruit. But all is not lost. You are still hale and whole after all, though I suspect you must be tired from your journey. You should rest, my friend, at least the worrying to us for the time being at least. Ooh. Meanwhile, at the border of Alamigo. Oh, good. Elidibus is here. I mean, yours is a welcome face during these troubled times, though if you've come to inquire about our stricken brothers and sisters, I'm afraid I've not to report. Coltnet and the others continue their tireless search for answers, and I too have done all in my power to assist them, alas. My apologies for the intrusion. I was told Master Alphano has been brought here and wished to see if his condition had improved. Friend.
Mr. Sidehean, I have heard about the part you played in driving back the Empire's forces. Thank you. They were, uh, that you were able to stop them, if only for a short while, gives me hope. I realize how strange such words must sound coming from Garlean lips, but I speak them out of love and I bear for my homeland, because I wish to see an end to the bloodshed. Of course you do. That is why I chose to share all that I know with the Alliance. Though I will be surely branded a traitor, I am content to bear that ignominy. Uh, it will seem a small price to pay if it helps prevent this call from escalating any further. Enough of my pratting. The war is now what brought me all this way. I came to see a Alf Master Alphano. Quaints of Idaho and Alphano, are you? Well, far be it for me to turn away good company if you will follow me, sir. When word reached me that Alphano had returned, it seemed only right that I visit him. Poor lad, it pains me to see him this, but I take solace in the knowledge that he is safe and well cared for. While valiantly at the burn, Popularis could not have wished for a more committed ally. I know not how he came to be so afflicted, but I pray a cure will be found soon. On an unrelated note, you may be interested to know that I have traveled here in the company of another acquaintance of yours. Awaits my return at Noor Silvertier, and I am certain he'll be glad to see you. Soon you can spare the time, that is. I should forget who this is. Why do you suppose to, is who do you suppose is waiting for you at Silvertier? With Mr. Crow and Master Tori have taken up the search for a cure of the strange sleep sickness, I pray that they find a remedy soon. Found these old bones just like I should have been the one to be struck down. Turns keep watch of slumbering archons and leave them unattended in for a Okay, so nothing to really change in their vocab. I was sent to rendezvous with the Alliance Force. You need to serve in Vancred's stead in their infiltration missions. Good man. I wonder if Coltman has anything to add. Sickness which plays Alpha and the others is unlike anything I have ever seen. To see them as they are and be powerless to help them, it is a pain beyond words. Looks hmm. like. So Raul took up Thancred's position as a infiltrator. That makes sense, because you would assume that he would do such a thing. Him and Thancred are pretty good. Thancred's better, I believe, overall. Um, Raul is still, he's, he is a good, um, he's another good one to have on that group. Oh, I forgot about that one. Oh, wait a minute, what am I doing? I can fly. Ah. Why the hell is that that blurry? Ew. Depth of... Is that depth of field? Wait a minute. I do not have depth of field on, do I? I'm 90% sure I have depth of field on. Or is that even a thing? Cinematic cup scenes. Why? No, oh, that's just a thing. Ew. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Oh, there he is. Oh, there you are. I was beginning to think he would not come. That sounds like you've been through the mill. You should have called me. Now, I must confess, tracking down missing souls is exactly within my field of expertise. As you may have surmised, I have heard much of Master Garland growing up in Garlemald. Indeed, he has been a long source of inspiration to me. Most Garlands will say he is a traitor, that he turned his back on his country. We at the Populars, however, consider him a revolutionary, and willing to defy the Empire's dreams of subjugation. That is, his inventions might bring about a better future for all of mankind. These revolutionaries are turned best served for my work. I am but an imperial defector. He thought to aid another imperial defector. Never Master Garland says, I am humbled to find myself in such distinguished company. Speaking of distinguished company, we heard from Rabon that you ran in an old friend in the burn. Is it true? Guy still lives? Yep. 
Like most in the army, I never had the privilege of seeing the legatus without his mask. I think I walk halfway across the burn in the presence of the Black Wolf. And he claimed to have severed ties with the Empire at the Hunassians, did he? Hmm. After his humbling at the Praetorium, one would think he'd have the good sense to stay dead. Should we meet again, I shall be sure to tell him so. Commander Alden also spoke of the Alliance's meeting with the Emperor, though I still labor to believe what he told us. Did his radiance really claim the Garlemald was founded by the Asins? Yep. This is madness, the very notion is absurd. Every fire of my beating railings against it. Yet I see there is no escape from the truth. From the very founding of my homeland, my brothers and sisters have laid down their lives in service to a lie. The Asians must be stopped to save my people, to save all peoples. For all the Empire's many crimes, even I did not suspect. Had I known, I would have left a lot sooner. But in the past, here in the present... Oh, God. Uh, we must apply ourselves to problems of how the Empire's ambitions may be thwarted. Not only in Arizona, but in the Far East as well. The Arabs spare no effort to um, achieve that end. Sarius' wall was a good start. Of course it was. That was a great start. Gotta yeah, build a giant wall. We'll do more, and we will. We will show them what it means to achieve freedom through technology. Being your part, a bear message from the Warrior of Light. We need. Commander Alden requests your pre uh, presence at Alliance Headquarters in Alamigo. We will discuss matters of strategy at your earliest convenience. Ah, yes, the inevitable messenger. I knew it wouldn't be long before uh, duty called you away. Time, no doubt, being of the essence, could I tempt you to ride aboard the Excelsior? There's a faster way to rob on side. I will personally apologize to Commander for keeping him waiting. Um, let's see, use Etherite, travel to right outside, talk to the one guy, get in. Woo! Yeah, about the same time, give or take. I too will make for the border and on. If there is not else I can do to help, I consider it my duty to see it done. I swear, every time you board my airship, you seem to be barreling headlong into danger. Every time you somehow contrive to emerge victorious, which, of course, is an admirable skill. But no one is invincible riding it, not even you, so please take care of yourself out there. Pray you remain safe on the front lines, though ill-equipped to join the fray, I shall do all I can to assist from headquarters. My colleagues and I have been tasked with evacuating casualties by air. See that you were not among them, eh? Okay, Commander Alden is waiting, my lady. It would be best to proceed to the Alliance headquarters at once. Are you ready? Yes. Ah, my leg. Good, good. I summoned you to the strategy, but first I would apprise you of the Garling's movements. Seconds. Oh, I actually wait. Uh, I don't know if I'll have enough time to do this. Mm. You know what? I don't think I will. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'll end the episode. Um, what I'll do is I'm going to check the time. I'll try to give myself a mental note on how much time there is. Um. Well, actually, no, I'll go through uh, right at the end of this. I'll look at the episode, see how much time lapsed. If it hits 30 minutes, I'll cut the episode. Um, if it's not, I'll probably add it. Eh, maybe I'll just do a shortened episode. Eh, you know what? Either one works, in my opinion. Either one works. Eh, we'll go with it. So uh, with that, guys, all I have to say is this. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. We come back. Uh, more Final Fantasy fourteen, and we'll talk to Rob on and see if we can... Well, discuss strategy, but from what we've seen, Xenos is in the field. But unfortunately, that is, um, what is it, Elidibus in his body. So I guess we get to see what happens next. I'll be sure to see you guys next time. Thanks.